I know some viewers have very strong emotions about the human body. We all have a body. It's okay to have some humility with it, but there's no reason to be humiliated by it. So I am in a swimsuit. Hope everyone doesn't have, you know, a minor heart attack. We're going to the lake. Gotta be so cold. Hey, you, listen. Will you go Dota that? Dota. Yes, Dota come. Dota, Dota come. Good girl! You're so naughty. Are you cool little baby? Robert offered to cook salmon, which I really appreciate. It's Friday, and on Fridays, normally I have tuna fish. I'm kind of a vegetarian, kind of not. I tend to eat plant-based, but I don't really mess with labels because I eat whatever my body tells me it is craving. Long story short, instead of tuna fish, tuna melts, we're doing salmon. But you can't just eat salmon by itself. So I am making two sides. And I thought that I would show you guys how I make mashed potatoes here in the cargo trailer and also sauteed spinach. So first we're gonna start with some potatoes. Uh, for today I have red Idaho potatoes. You can tell that I just washed my hair cause it looks like a mix between Garth and a golden retriever. I went ahead and rinsed off the potatoes. I'm gonna cut them into chunks and put them into this little pot. I'm gonna fill it to about here with water. Into the water, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil. With what we have, we're gonna set it start doing its thing. I'll let that start heating up and once the water is boiling, I'll turn it down to simmer for about 15 minutes and then we'll go from there. While the potatoes are doing their thing, getting ready to boil, I'm gonna take my cast iron wok and I'm gonna take uh, this is probably still about 10 ounces of spinach and I'm going to rip it up and we're going to saute some spinach once the mashed potatoes are done because this doesn't take very long. So once again, I'm going to start with some olive oil. This is extra virgin and from California. Okay, our potatoes are starting to boil. So I'm gonna just put this down to simmer. I'm gonna add a bunch of garlic powder to the spinach. Fresh garlic obviously would be better, but I do not have any right now. And the nearest grocery store is like an hour away. So garlic powder it is. A little bit of salt. I've always been a really simple cook. 
but it means that anything that I make is definitely easy to replicate. So there's always that. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and and I'm able to stab the potatoes with a fork and they're just kind of falling apart. They easily come off. It's obviously a thick fork, so take that into consideration if you will. But it means that these are set. So what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to bother taking off, turning off the burner. I'm going to just set these to the side and I'm going to throw the spinach on and to help the spinach cook just a little faster, I'm going to cover it with a plate. But I have 10 minutes until Robert and I agreed that we would be done for dinner, so I better hurry up with my plan. Okay, so what we have here is a dish of boiled potato water, which has some starch, but it has some nutrients. And we have Riot's bowl that has a little remnants from some dehydrated dog food called Honest Kitchen left, but that's okay. I'm just going to drain the potato and olive oil water. And if you remember, I only added a little bit of salt, but not much. So really this is water, potato water, and some olive oil. And if any of you are familiar with Honest Kitchen, it's just a dehydrated dog food. Now she did already have, oh hello, just came in the room. She did already have some beef ribs and some tilapia. So I'm not gonna give her more than a spoonful, but I can use this leftover potato water to rehydrate her honest kitchen, which I supplement her raw diet with every so often. I also just make her vegetables every so often. But honest kitchen is a nice supplement just to make sure your dog has a well-rounded raw diet since I tend to feed her the barf diet. Now, my bone broth has not defrosted very much, but I could add a little bone broth to this to cool it down. And then I can set my bone broth up here to help it defrost a little bit. Now Riot's Honest Kitchen does have to reconstitute a little bit, which gives it time to also cool down. It'll make for a happy dog, especially with the potato water and bone broth and everything. I love Honest Kitchen. It's human grade food so that you feed your dog the best. And just like with us, and I think I've said it before when I showed her food, health starts in the gut for them too. So feeding them the best possible human grade food is a good start. And you can see just a couple minutes on top of the hot plate and my bone broth has defrosted enough I should be able to add it to the potatoes. Before I do though go ahead. You can see that the spinach is really cooking down and that's one of my favorite things is you can pack in a lot of spinach which is a very healthy vegetable. Um, 
because it cooks down so nicely. And there's a nice aroma of garlic coming up even though I just used garlic powder. Fresh garlic is my favorite. I'm just out and I actually usually do keep some on hand. But I happen to be out right now. You can see this is cooking down really nice. Okay. Okay. While that continues to cook down, I need to add things to my potatoes. And I'm going to start with ghee, which is clarified butter. And it is shelf stable, so it doesn't take up any room in the refrigerator like regular butter will. Also add bone broth. And again, this is why I don't, I call myself plant-based. I don't even necessarily call myself a vegetarian because every so often, and I like adding bone broth to things because it's really healthy for you. And using just my fork, I'm gonna start mashing. And you can see just the, this is what I like about the red potatoes is they, they do mash down with less time boiling, it seems to me at least. And so it's just easier without even having a regular hand masher, just a metal fork. I am cooking with Robert or for Robert. So while I do want to add some black pepper, I'm going to keep it really calm. Although, I mean, I love spice. So personally, I would add hot sauce to this as well. But we're going to be fair. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then to really get creaminess, we're gonna add in what my grandmother would always do. But before we do, I can feel this needs to get. So you can see how much our spinach cooked down. Quite a lot. Okay. And then if any of you have Eastern European, Slavic, Lithuanian, anything like that, family members, this next ingredient should not surprise you. It's mayo. Oops. Oh, and it squirted everywhere all over me. Ah. Now the plate is really hot which is helpful because then it adds a little bit of heat to the potatoes. I'm able to cook both things at once because it's a metal plate. So I got the spinach finishing sauteing. I'm adding the mayo for creaminess into these mashed potatoes. I don't know if you can tell what an incredible difference adding the creaminess of the mayo makes. My grandmother used to do this. I love it. It's calories, but it's worth it. I'm going to turn the heat off because it will continue simmering on its own for a little bit. Okay, the next step is to walk all this stuff over by Robert's van because I agreed to eat outside with him, which is great. It's just his van is a little bit of a hike over that way. And we'll bring Riot's food with us so Riot can eat dinner with us too. Okay, you can have your food right here. Sit. Plie. Riot. 
Did you see how many people were happy to have you back? Yeah, I, know. I was going to say, do I get more than two seconds of air time? <laughs> yeah, there's the microphone. <laughs> I go, man, that was, cut that short. <laughs> Looking for my stardom. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, thank you even more. Just don't let it slide on the ground. I know. <laughs> what do you think of the mashed potatoes? Delicious. You think they're delicious? Mm hmm. Well done. Delicious. Thank you very Same. much. Thank you. She's such a good helper to support you while you're eating. <laughs>